Hello, this is Jack from teachingeslonline.com and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk all about landing pages. So I'm going to talk about why you need a landing page if you are an online teacher or if you have any type of online business or offline business and what makes a good landing page as well. I'm going to talk about the tools and resources you need and give you some extra tips and a big part of this is just thinking about what it is you want people to do when they visit your site. What is it you want people to do when they come onto your landing page? So we're going to dive deep into that and yeah, uh, let's get started. A good way to think about a landing page is setting it up so that people take action instead of browse your website. So another way to think about it as well is setting up a page so that visitors turn into leads. Now, the biggest mistake I see teachers make when they set up their own website is that they set it up for browsing. So they'll have lots of information. They'll talk about themselves a lot. They'll have different types of pictures, maybe some of those pictures that slide in and out. They'll have icons all over the website. But it's very hard for anyone to actually take any action. The Biggest thing that people do is they'll put a contact form on there, but it'll just say contact us. It won't say why, it won't say what they offer, and it won't give them a reason to contact the teacher. Now, I'm saying teacher because a lot of the information I give is for online teachers, but this works for any type of industry. So what a landing page does is it converts those visitors into leads or sales. So a good example is this. If you create a page which leads people into taking a trial lesson or a consultation with you for free, then that is converting people into a lead. But if somebody comes on your website, likes the look of it, and then leaves, then you don't have a lead. Instead, you just have a visitor who browsed around a little bit, and then they left your website, and you'll, they'll probably never see you again. So it's important that we set up a, a landing page to send potential customers to. So when you are creating your YouTube videos, when you are um, writing blog posts, doing podcasts on Facebook or on Instagram, this landing page is the page you're going to send people to. Now, I've already given you one example using the trial lesson or the free consultation. Now, another one is to download a free guide or any kind of resource from you where people will then get onto your email list. So this is like getting a lead onto your email list where you can send them follow-up emails in order to sell them something down the road. So you're not just going to give away free lessons all your life, you want people to start paying for lessons. So those free consultations will convert into sales. Or if you have a course, an online course or a digital product of any type, then you can send people emails selling this course, sending out offers, talking about how great this course is. Because to get people on the back end sending them emails means that you've captured that lead. It's hard just to take people through zero to your end result on your website. It's much easier to get lots of touches through emails and maybe also advertising too. So type number two is to offer something for free and then send them follow-up emails in order to sell your product or your services. But the key element here is convincing people to give them your email. And this is what a landing page does. It takes them through a whole process which where they actually take action at the end. So they're not just browsing around, they're actually clicking a button and giving you their email address. Now, a formula for a landing page, and I'll give you this now before I talk about the third type of landing page, is ADA, attention, interest, desire, and action. So you'll get their attention through an image or a headline. You'll get their, you'll build their interest through the words you use, talking about the problems that they have. And then you'll build the desire by saying, I can solve these problems through this. And then action, which is clicking the button and then filling out their details. 
So this can be very simple as well. It doesn't have to be a, a long-winded landing page. In fact, I found that shorter landing pages have worked better for me. Now that is in the English language niche where people might not want to read lots of English because it's their second language. So you can be very strong with a headline, an image, and then a, a button. And I'll put one on your screen now, an example. But the, the idea is that you just get their attention and you want them to take action and you tell them to take action. So you push them into this area of the button and say, this is what you need to do in order to get this free guide. You want this free guide? Click here to get it. So, so far we have had a free consultation, a landing page, where all you can do here is have a headline and have a calendar embedded and reasons why to take a trial lesson with you. We've also had a free download, an email marketing style download, where people download a resource and then they get emails from you. And just to say on that one, I do have a free guide to email marketing. There will be a link in the description. And then the third one, and I'm gonna put this in a landing page video, is a sales page. Now, a sales page is where you convince somebody to buy something from you or your website. Now, for me, this has always been an online course or language lessons. So I have courses for English language teachers and also English language learners. So the English language learner course is called the To Fluency Program. Now I sell this program by option two, people downloading a free book and then they get an offer through email. But I'm finding more and more people are going from YouTube directly, especially, to my course page, my sales page and buying straight from there. Now the sales page again is set up for action, not for browsing. So they're not going on the sales page and then checking out my blog or going to the about me page. I take all of those off. There are no distractions. You're on this page. You're either going to go through the checkout process or you're going to leave or you're going to leave and come back later. But that's the idea. It's setting it up for action, not for browsing. And the sales page is a perfect example of following this strategy. And with a sales page, you can follow that same formula attention, interest, desire, and action. Now, sales pages, generally speaking, are a lot longer than just a landing page, like for a free download. So you might want to look up what makes a good sales page if you are creating sales pages and go deeper into that. But the formula still works. Get their attention with the headline, an image. Build, build their interest up by talking about the problems they have. Build a desire by then saying, my program, my course, my digital product is going to solve those problems. And then action is, click here, enter your details, and you'll have access to this product. Now you might be able to build landing pages and sales pages through your WordPress backend or through Squarespace if you use that, but also consider checking out lead pages. And if you do so, then please use my affiliate link in the description. Now I've been using lead pages for years now. I love the simplicity, the fact that they already have these formulas set up for you in page templates. So you can just enter in your information and you know it's going to work. You can A-B test different headlines and images and button colors, you can test everything. And they have so many different features so that you're getting more leads on your website. Things like pop-ups or bars that go across the top. Anything to get people's attention when they come on your website, which helps in addition to the landing page that you set up. And you can also set up a website using that as well. So if you're interested in lead pages, then use my affiliate link in the description. Now, another tool you might want to consider if you sell digital products is Samcart because they create checkout pages, which is another type of landing page. And they do so in a way that increases conversion. So I started using Samcart three years ago and I did so because I didn't like the checkout experience of the software I was using. And it made a huge difference. Just having a clean checkout page of all the different features that they recommend you have on there 
made a, a world of difference when it came to conversions. Now they've also introduced something called sales pages as well. So you can build sales pages using Samcart. And they also have affiliate an affiliate program built into there if you want affiliates to sell your products for you. So check out Samcart. Again, use my affiliate link in the description. Now, the final tip I want to give on landing pages is that once you have them set up, send people to these pages. Now, I do this in many different ways. From my YouTube videos, I send people to my free book and also to the sales page for my program. I send people to my free book on Facebook, on Google Ads, on Facebook Ads, on Instagram, on Facebook, from the blog posts that I have. So I'll send people to a landing page or just simply a opt-in form at the bottom of the page. So make it the number one thing that people do when they visit your site and make it a number one priority once you have this set up because it's going to make the world of difference if you've been struggling to get your online teaching business off the ground or whatever it is that you're doing online. Create your landing page, make it a number one priority. Send people there from anywhere you can think of, from LinkedIn as well. So when you're posting on LinkedIn, include a landing page. And I like the CTA method, which is called the call to action method using social media, where you give content away for free. And at the end of the video, at the beginning, in the middle maybe, in the description, you talk about your free gift or your course or your free trial, your free consultation. So you're giving away content and you're letting the landing page take care of the rest. Now, what I recommend you do now is go through my free training for email marketing because it includes everything you need to know in order to get your email marketing campaign set up, how to create a landing page, and how to just integrate all of this stuff because it can be a little bit technical. But what I do is I break it down for you. I talk about the software that I recommend and how to create landing pages, what they look like, and then how to integrate this into your email marketing methods. So click the link in the description, take that training. It is free. You don't need to pay for it. So if you found this useful, then please like and share it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.